Here are five unexpected ways that cutting edge science isn't so cutting edge. Number one, heavy reliance on human input. So despite automated tools, scientific methods often depend on manual intervention, introducing human bias into their results. And so this dependence slows down discovery and ultimately robs humanity of progress, if you will. And this is not the researcher's fault. Let me be clear about that. This is typically the result of inertia in dominant vendors and service providers. So researchers are, with all right, typically focused on on their research and not how technical components of their workflow could be better. Two, outdated data management. In the era of AI and cloud computing, many researchers still have to juggle USB drives and external hard drives. And this approach affects data accessibility and collaboration. And a common experience for researchers is to manually identify hundreds of cells one by one and then copy paste several terabytes of image data back and forth to an external hard drive when going between their microscope and their workstation, losing several hours uh, in the process. Three, manual microscopy practices. So advanced microscopy offers incredible insights, yet manual processes persist, consuming a lot of time and effort. And the potential for human error remains significant, impacting data reliability. But due to the heavy reliance on microscopy for the best data in science, researchers often spend days and days staring down a microscope, manually identifying cells, bacteria, and other small objects and patterns. And so this leads to eye strain, back pain, and in some cases, even burnout. And four, inefficient training models. So years of training are required to master complex tools and this steep learning curve restricts access and limits innovation in key research areas. Five, fragmented software ecosystems. So researchers often find themselves patching together multiple software solutions, creating a complex heterogeneous landscape that's difficult to manage and standardize. So picture this, you first need your PhD to even qualify basically. So someone studying cancer cells would first need eight years give or take to get to that level. Okay, so now you know biology cells and cancer characteristics. Now you need to learn the microscope you have access to, as well as the right method for your research to take images. And that might take a few months or years. Then you need to learn Python, Julia, and other programming languages to be able to patch together some kind of semi-automated workflow to save some time. This might take another few months or years. And then you also need to manage all this data somehow, often resorting to the external hard drive method. So maybe 10 years later, you might be able to get some quantified data that probably isn't even reproducible. And this is not your fault. This is the fault of vendors and software not being where it should be. So at Sightly, we recognize these challenges, we want to solve them, and simply we do not accept the status quo. We're committed to transforming modern research in this sense with our platform for smart microscopy, which addresses and solves all of the above points. So no more eye strain, no more back pain, and no more burnout. And so our aim is to propel science into the 21st century by simplifying processes and enhancing data quality.